exploring the Georgia Aquarium. The aquarium has more than 8 million gallons of fresh and marine water and more aquatic life than found in any other tank. Then 100,000 animals from 500 different species live in the aquarium. The bow-mouthed guitarfish is found throughout East and Southeast Asian waters in the sandy or muddy bottoms close to shore or coral reefs. Grayish brown with white spots, it mainly feeds on crustaceans and mollusks. The sand shark. The sand shark likes to spend time in the bay, staying close to the bottom in the sand. Most sand sharks are found from Cape Cod to Massachusetts south. Their mouth full of teeth can be very scary, but remember, they are not man-eaters. They are somewhat sluggish and are mostly bottom dwellers. They will not appear in the water until the water temperature reaches 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Average length is 4 to 6 feet, with the largest growing up to 10 feet long. For Valley Jack, found on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean, Western Mediterranean, and Northern Gulf of Mexico, they swim in fast-moving schools. The large toothed sawfish. Found in the tropical Indo-West Pacific, the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific Ocean, it eats crustaceans, mollusks, and other animals found at the bottom of the ocean, including small schools of fish. The saw is used for digging in the sand or mud, for food, attacking prey, and as a defense mechanism. Giant groupers. It dwells in shallow reefs, caves, wrecks, and estuaries in tropical climates. Largest of all the coral reef dwelling bony fish, it feeds on fish, sharks, and crustaceans by hiding in reefs and ambushing its prey. It can expand its mouth to create a strong suction, which allows it to engulf its unsuspecting prey. The grouper can grow to a length of 8 feet and a weight of 660 pounds. Whale shark. The whale shark is actually a fish, not a shark. It is the largest fish in the world. The largest whale shark known was 40 feet 7 inches long. Their mouths can measure up to 4 feet across with 300 rows of tiny teeth along the inner surface of the jaw. They eat fish, small crustaceans, and squid strained through their gills. The manta ray. Mainly a plankton feeder, the manta ray also feeds on small to medium sized fish. They can grow up to 13 feet and weigh up to 6,000 pounds. They do not have a stinging spine and are generally harmless to humans. They have up to 300 rows of non-functional tiny teeth on the front of their lower jaw. Their only natural enemies are large sharks and people. The humphead wrasse. It is a tropical marine fish found on coral reefs. They can reach almost 8 feet long and weigh more than 400 pounds. It usually lives alone and can live up to 30 years. Tasseled Wabigong, a four-foot nocturnal hunter, opens its mouth wide and sucks in its prey. The jellyfish, outdating the dinosaurs, jellyfish have lived for 650 million years. The jellyfish does not have any brain, heart, bones, or eyes, and their bodies are over 95% water. The box jellyfish kills more people than any other sea creature. The moon jelly, often seen floating on top of the water, the moon jelly is white with the shades of blue or pink. They eat zooplankton, and their bellies are truly made of a jelly-like substance. This is the most common jelly found washed up on beaches. Tropical fish and coral reefs. Corals are animals related to jellyfish and anemones. The variety of coral that form coral reefs are usually restricted to shallow, warm, tropical waters. Pollution and sediment runoff are a major cause of stress. As the coral reef becomes stressed, it may also become diseased. Bartlett's anthe. These are a sea bass fish commonly found on coral reefs in the Pacific. The maximum size is 3.5 inches. They live in large schools of thousands with very few males. This is the line seahorse. Seahorses are true fish because they have a backbone, gills, and highly modified scales. Sea anemone may look like flowers, but they are predatory animals. They attach themselves to the sea floor, rock, or coral. They eat fish, mussels, zooplankton, and worms. They catch food with their stinging tentacles. Clownfish always live near anemones and are immune to their sting. They help the anemone by cleaning their tentacles. The Japanese spider crab is found anywhere from 150 to 1,000 feet below the Pacific Ocean. With the legs spread out, it measures up to 12 feet across and 15 feet wide. It can weigh up to 40 pounds. These are the bones of a whale from tail to head. The beluga whale is found anywhere from shallow waters to depths of 3,000 feet. 
they tend to suction feed off the bottom of the ocean and eat about 100 different kinds of bottom dwelling animals. About the size of a grain of rice when it is born, the giant Pacific octopus can grow to 16 feet in length. It can weigh up to 90 pounds. Each arm of the octopus can have as many as 1,800 suckers. Its flexible body allows it to squeeze into the smallest spaces. The weedy sea dragon is found in shallow waters, kelp forests, and reefs. Sea dragons are related to seahorses and pikefish. California sea lion is known for its intelligence, activeness, and noisy barking. The male is a chocolate brown color, and the female is a much lighter brown color. Now watch as these male sea lions fight over the female sea lion. <laughs> <laughs> One's a quiet leader and the other's a quiet. <laughs> Found on the coast of Africa, the African penguin eats many kinds of fish, crustaceans, and squid. It can swim up to 15 miles per hour. Though the African penguin does not fly through the air, instead its wings are flippers for underwater use. Yeah, White and brown shrimp eat both plants and animals, making them omnivores. I hope you enjoyed watching this underwater adventure. We will end with a quick clip of the Georgia Coast Gray Reef. You will see many species of fish that live here as well as the loggerhead turtle.